Okay. I am Master Ferdinand from Sri Lanka. I am sitting down in my traditional home at Dehivana. I'd like to speak to you on the present uh, red rain that some areas have experienced. It can be due to various reasons, but the newspaper reports say it can be due to an algae, uh, algae formation in the atmosphere. The million dollar question is, can so much algae go into the air? One of the Sri Lankan astronomers known as Mr. Vikram Singh who works for a British lab put it down to some, uh, some form of algae that has come from outer space. This can be true because when you look at the data analysis which the meteorological department has given, it is, uh, they say, around 100, around 100 years back it had fallen in Italy, then last year it had red rain had fallen in India and now in Sri Lanka. So this algae can be transported from a meteorites that arrive on the earth frequently. The question is the test should be done to see which form of DNA this algae consists, whether it's the right hand or the left hand. Now take for example if the uh, life on earth is left handed and if this DNA is right handed that means it is a what you call the opposite it's the same DNA but it is a twin of the DNA because we get two forms of DNA the right handed and the left hand for example now the DNA which is uh, which is on earth which has given rise to life on earth it cannot mix with the left handed DNA because uh, for example if we, we cannot consume that uh, the plants that grow in that atmosphere or even we cannot even uh, what you call marry and have an offspring so this is a very interesting phenomena where this red brain can be tested for the dna whether it is left-handed or right-handed because life forms come in two right-handed and left-handed that means there can be two human beings resembling the same but their DNA is a mirror. So it's very interesting uh, phenomena, which uh, even Mr. Vikrama says even viruses may come into the earth in this manner. Because when in his speech about 20 years ago, he brought out certain instances where air travel was not very frequent, but certain uh, virus diseases which broke out in the continents happened at the same time. This. Uh, what you call life can be transported from, to the universe from distant stars or distant planets and the DNA can be inside these meteorites. Well, the billion dollar question is how did they survive? Because when a meteorite enters the earth, there is very, very much heat that is generated and the meteorite catches fire. So the DNA can be destroyed. So it will have to be very big meteorites which carry the DNA or the RNA. These are some of the points which I would like to share with you. I am sitting under my traditional kohoma tree and in front of me is the aloe vera tree which is, which is used for beauty. So I would like to do some beauty therapy also in front of you and show the value of aloe vera. When it is rubbed, it should be rubbed below the neck because aging shows below the neck and this value of this aloe vera is that it is a natural ingredient and it protects even from sunburn. For the present, I will close.